So in this morning's talk, you heard the word awareness. And in, as I share a bit further now, <coughs> you'll also hear the word open intelligence. And that's just synonymous. It's the same as. And is, is really, uh, really directly experienced uh, just in this meeting, just by showing up here, just by your simple power to know. We can really get to know open intelligence very directly. And in the Balanced View training, there is a direct instruction to recognize open intelligence and to get familiar with it naturally in your own experience. And that introduction is very simply to stop thinking just for a moment. And what remains when you stop thinking? It just makes me smile because there's just this always on brightness, this alertness, this awareness, cognizance, just pure knowing bright and clear and this is what we what we share as being open intelligence forever opening and you may have come to this meeting in for for many different reasons uh, i know one of the things that brought me to this meeting was was recognizing there was just so much uncertainty going on around me in in the world and then so much uncertainty in my own life, I had some aspects of kind of a stable everyday life going on, but there was something about my life that was completely scary because I knew that regardless of how good it was, how easy it was or how good it was going, there was this something in the background that says, this could all fall apart in an instant. And, and that was correct. <laughs> and it did happen again and again. I could see that. That no matter how good it got or no matter how safe and secure I felt, I saw both the conflict going on in the world and in my own life. And I didn't find any solutions. And so this is what directly brought me to one of these meetings. And what I, what I saw was that uh, there was just, and what I heard about this training was, of course, there's just so much conflict going on in the world, so much pain and suffering. And the direct solution to that is directly related to ending the suffering in my own experience. Starting with me, starting with the conflict in my own world. So really looking at that in my own experience and seeing what's, you know, what's really going on. I, I have a thought and it's not really a thought that I want. It's, for instance, something like um, anxiety, you could say. And the old way I learned what anxiety was, was just a, not a thought to have. And so it would come up, and then there was all the efforts to get rid of it. The efforts to avoid it, the efforts to replace it. And then thinking about it a bit more. That was one method. M maybe if I think about it enough, I'll, I'll think about how it's, it's, uh, it's all okay. I'll think about how um, it's going to be resolved in the future. Now there's a, a different approach that we can take to, for instance, a, a feeling or a thought like anxiety, a feeling or a thought like anger or fear. Take whatever your, your greatest challenge is now or has been. That thought, that feeling, that emotion. And there's a different approach. And the direct approach is to rely on short moments of open intelligence and repeat that many times until it becomes continuous. And so how that looks in terms of a feeling like anxiety 
instead of seeing something like anxiety, like feeling uh, so um, like it, it just shouldn't be there. We take a short moment of allowing everything to be as it is, recognizing open intelligence, recognizing what's at the basis. There's this power to know anxiety that comes before all of the descriptions. There's this power to know that comes before all of the elaborations. And so in, in the very moment you have a choice, in each moment. And that's where all of these ideas start to really become creative and expansive. And I can consider myself as a very creative person. And so I was really good at making all sorts of different stories. I had a f just one inkling of a feeling like anxiety. And all of a sudden, it was because of this and that and this and that. And now it's getting bigger. It's getting bigger. It's, it, it, maybe it's been with me all of these many, many years. I, don't, I didn't even know. Now it's huge. Now it's never ending. Now it's going to never leave me. I'm going to be stuck. It's going to be crippling. I'm going to be in my room. I won't be able to move. I won't be able to speak to anyone. You can see <laughs> how the old way to relate to such data streams works and is so painful and echoes out in the world into great many conflicts. And so it starts with us again. It starts in this very moment. It starts right now. It starts with you testing it out right now. Right now you can look and see that brightness, that alertness, it's still always on, right? It's still hearing these words, still sensing. And then the next idea, the next thought arises. And instead of moving to describe further, we test out relying on a short moment of open intelligence. Relying on your bright knowing to allow everything to be as it is. And that thought, it vanishes naturally. It effortlessly releases. That anxiety, spontaneously resolved in the very moment of your perception of it. <coughs> that fear, spontaneously resolved in the very moment you perceived it. So you're completely successful, completely powerful in each moment. And so from moment to moment, we just choose to rely on open intelligence rather than describing. And that's something that you can test out each day. Test out today, throughout your day. And what you start to see is that all of these thoughts, emotions and sensations, they're just inseparable from open intelligence. So going back to that same data stream, that same description, and data, we just uh, encapsulate all thoughts, emotions, and sensations. That's just a word we can use there. So that data stream of anxiety, for instance, allowing it to be as it is, we see that actually, when all of the descriptions are relaxed, it's inseparable from open intelligence, like the color blue and the sky, completely inseparable. <coughs> So these, this uncomfortable feeling that continued to arise in my experience throughout my life that, empower, that made me act and speak in certain ways from the impulse to get rid of it somehow, just, just get rid of it. That same thought, emotion and sensation when I allowed it to be as it is, when I relied on short moments of open intelligence, I could see was just completely inseparable from in open intelligence. And so it could just continue on, resolving effortlessly like a line drawn in water. And so I, I tried this out. I tested it out for short moments. I, I heard about this training called the 12 Empowerments that I I heard, you know, really, really uh, took 
relying on short moments of open intelligence to, to the next level that really looked at all of my data streams, not just anxiety, but all of them. And there are some of you that are going through the empowerments right now, so you can probably, probably confirm that yes, correct, we look at all the data streams openly and clearly and really identify how they're inseparable from open intelligence. And so there's no shadows where the light cannot completely warm and clear up. And in short moments of open intelligence, we, we see that effortlessly, like the sun rises. That's how effortless. Each morning the sun effortlessly rises, effortlessly the light pervades what was once darkness. And so in short moments, many times, you can really test out how that is warming up your own experience, warming up your ability to be empowered in the world, where you can think and speak in a, in a clear way. You can allow things to just be as they are and really settle into clarity and into a, a empowered decision-making. And I, I know that in my own experience that there's, I have all sorts of different ideas and some of them are really amazing creative ideas that come in an instant that I think are just like the best idea in the world like, and it's going to just solve not only all of my problems but everyone else's as well and it's going to be praised throughout the ages this, this one creative idea and, um, and then in, an, in a moment or in one hour or two hours it's like what is that? What was I thinking? <laughs> and, and it can be the other way around as well. And so all of these different data streams uh, arise and fall and, and resolve. And if we are jumping on them and acting from just these thoughts, emotions and sensations solely, then I can see how my life would go from one to the next to the next, trying to really search for these, the, the, the most positive experience or the most positive data stream. And then as we rely on open intelligence, we really settle into not what will be the most positive experience or what may be the best looking thing, but what will be of greatest benefit to all. And this has been something that has really empowered my speaking, has really empowered my actions, has really empowered all of my creative energy, uh, what I want to do and say in the world and how I want to say it. And so from short moments of open intelligence, we really settle into to being uh, no, no longer uh, bombarded by all of these data streams like being uh, in a valley amongst all of the trees, not seeing a clear way, not seeing a clear direction. But in each short moment, we're instantly on the mountaintop, seeing the vast view, seeing how we can clearly move ahead in a beneficial way, seeing what might be that next beneficial speech or action. And so this is the vantage that we, we want to take up to navigate, the world, navigate in the world and, and directly respond to, to really what is needed in the world. 